Well, hello and welcome to my review of Panzer Strategies, a game based on the old game of Panzer Generals, which I remember very well, and uh, I really did like that Panzer Generals. And all the other ones that came out after that one were based on that game. I never really got involved with that deeply, and uh, so I thought I'd try this new one um, and and see what it's like. Uh, okay, so first of all, you can see that it's fairly basic game, uh, not great graphically, um, and and it doesn't have to be if it's uh, anything like Panzer Generals. That was quite a basic game, but anyway, let's move on and st start uh, looking at what we got going here. Okay, so let's look at the settings. Now the sound, I should tell you straight away, the music volume you want to turn off straight away because the music is terrible. Uh, not very good music at all for it. Uh, so yeah, I turned it off. But you've got the music settings, right there, okay. Then let's go to video. And you've got your dynamic, um, you don't have to have a great graphics card or anything to run this by the way. You do need 64 bit. Um, anyway, but I, I've got mine on all maximum and everything and, and all that. But as you can see here, uh, it says video settings. You don't have screen resolution. You cannot change the screen resolution, okay? Which is not a great uh, thing, I wouldn't have thought. Anyway, let's go to game. And game, uh, you've got your language, you've got mouse scroll. Now, I put mouse scroll on medium. Um, uh, and also key scroll on medium because uh, I found out that you can't actually move around the map well the way I want to um, and the only way you can do it is with the arrow keys and it's not very great it's a bit clumsy and it doesn't work very well I mean I haven't really played this game at all actually I've just checked it out a little bit first before I made this video that's all um, so camera approaching not really sure what that is hexagons on the map definitely You've got to have the hexagons on the map right okay back and back now <clears throat> uh, let's, sorry, let's go new game From the initial Wehrmacht operations in Spain, uh, as you can see he looks very very intelligent now I will say that there's a few cutscenes in this um, that uh, are no good. The cutscenes are not not even worth being there. Um, you have him walking down the hallway, this chap, and he meets Hitler in his boardroom or whatever. And Hitler it doesn't look very great, and uh, the voice acting is not even German or anything. It's it's, it's not very well done, and it doesn't match the mouth. And um, what I'm telling you, the makers of this game, you don't need cutscenes in this game. There's no point in it. Uh, who cares? And let's uh, skip that because it's all that he's reading, which I'm not really that interested in. So let's say start game. Well, hang about on the right hand side down here. You can see you have normal, you have hard, and you have easy. Um, I'm planning going to try it on normal. Um, I remember playing uh, Panzer Generals, which is the old game, and I used to play that on hard. And uh, it, I really played many, many hours of, of it. Um, and the reason why it was such a good game, Panzer Generals, was because you had an, a map with all the hexagons on. And at the start of it, you had to, it told you you only had 10 turns to do that mission. What I mean is, it said it had, um, you got to take over these two other certain places. They must be done in those 10 turns. And you had secondary ones where you could take over as well if you had the, the amount of moves left. And also what I liked about it at the beginning of it, it, it gave you um, a certain amount of equipment to be able to put down in wherever you wanted to, to put them down. I mean, you could only put them down in certain hexagons, but um, you could put them in, right? And I don't think this game has that. But the, it was the most important thing was the 10 turns. I mean, sometimes you couldn't do it in 10 turns. And of course, when the maps got bigger, it was up to 25 turns and 30 turns. And, and you know, this was like more or less like chess type thing. And uh, it was very good. But, uh, but sadly, this game, I don't believe, has that uh, thing. But let's start the game. And it says, enable tutorial. If the, it's very short and helpful, honestly. I mean, really, honestly, really. Um, 
yeah okay we'll play the tutorial but i will tell you that if you do play the tutorial that once you get into the tutorial there is no way of getting out of the tutorial um unless you finish the tutorial and the only way i found was to push Control alt delete and uh, get uh, task manager up and close the game out that way that's the only way i know i knew how anyway let's play the tutorial right in 1933, and we got this. The After the humiliations they have suffered from the Don't really know. Oh, let's watch this because this is quite funny, really. Um, it's got. Um, I mean, graphically, it's all right. Um, not great. Um, we don't really need this cutscene at all. Um, you know was obliged to pay huge reparations for the next 80 years. Attempts to resolve them peacefully were met with So I'm gonna just drink my coffee while I'm waiting. From France. In order to defend its independence, I mean, Germany we don't need this, by the way. It's, it's unnecessary. Oh, here's Hitler. Can we, can we hear Hitler? General Franco has raised an uprising against the communist. Is his mouth moving correctly? I don't believe so, and his teeth have fallen out. Or oh, he's got too many teeth in there. This operation will sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, we don't need this. We don't need this um, cutscene at all in it. You know, waste of time. I think if you double click the screen, you can get out of it. It is necessary to gain a foothold in order to be able to deploy forces. The Republicans have left a very weak garrison to guard this airfield. Uh, Let's begin by capturing it. Okay. Select an infantry unit by clicking on it right. with a left mouse button. Right. Then you can issue commands to the unit. Oh, right. <coughs> now, okay, so this is like um, Panzer Generals in the sense it's got um, your hexagons here, right? Now I can zoom out, and that's as far as I can zoom out. So, in other words, I don't see all the map. The only way I can see all the map is is either move the mouse to the edge of the screen where it move or I use my arrow keys to move around like this. Now if you take a look at the map, if you go like that, look, what's this on the left here? What it didn't have the right size map or something. I mean that that's pretty shoddy, I would have thought. I mean this game is not expensive, but it's not cheap either. So I I don't think it's certainly not worth the money at all but anyway let's carry on with it that's just my opinion now what is good about it is that you can zoom in and you can but then you can't move really around you have to do the key button so yeah zooming around sorry if I'm making you dizzy there um, you can zoom around up and down over to the water oh that looks nice and everything else I mean very fine and everything else but you know really but let, let's take a look at this bad tank. I don't know whether in as the game gets on, further on, it gets better, I don't know. But there's the tank that's bad, obviously, because these flags are wrong, uh, not ours. Um, but um, the tank, could they not just have made a tank look like a tank? That doesn't look like a tank. That's a cardboard cutout, isn't it? Anyway, look, these are your men here. And they've got to take over this men here. <coughs> Obviously, right. So anyway, let's get on with it. Um, click on it. Attack, attack the airfield, airfield guards. guards. In most, In most cases, cases, units, units are, are able to attack, attack one, one time, time per turn. turn. Uh-huh. Right. So you move over to here and it says... Uh, I can't quite catch to see that. I can't really see what that says. Um, but anyway, it's something or other anyway. So let's push click and attack. Capture the airfield. To do this, move the unit toward the hexagon with the flag. Uh -huh. Only land units can capture objects. Right. So instead of clicking on it to move it, you click here in that square you just taken over. All oh, right. The Luftwaffe will immediately transfer additional air forces to this airfield. Right. In order to transfer non-infantry troops, it is necessary to capture the railroad station. Right. Use the attack aircraft to blast away the enemy force from the station right. and then occupy it with infantry. Right. Choose a tactical bomber. Right. Okay, so these are tactical bombers, obviously, that I've just got because I've taken over that area. Um, and like I say, this is the, 
the view I have now there's a view over here this is obviously a secondary thing but as you can see there's no uh, nothing up here to say how many turns oh, this is a tutorial but there's no uh, sort of saying how many turns I have to do this in and I can't see all the map I, I have to scroll to be able to see all the map I can't scroll out and that's as far out as I can go I'm on 1920 by uh, 1080 on this um, I suppose if I could go higher on the screen maybe I could see it all I don't know um, but anyway let's click on the, on the enemy, enemy by clicking, clicking on, on it with the left, left mouse, mouse button, button. Mm. The aircraft can attack ground targets located in the same hexagon as them. Hmm. So there it goes. Following the attack on the ground target, the bomber can move one hexagon and give others the opportunity to attack. Hmm. Move the plane aside. Yes, exactly like uh, Panzer Generals, you can move one square Choose afterwards. Right, so this tank is, I have no idea, it's got a question mark here. But attack if you choose another bomber... Take the second bomber off the site of an attack. Okay. Um, where's he going? He wants to go here? I don't know. Oh. Choose an infantry unit. In most cases, troops are only able to move once per turn. Uh-huh. Capture the station. Capture the station. For the tra Excellent. Now, now our heavy, our heavy units, units could be relocated, relocated in here. here. Hmm. Now, we now we need artillery, artillery support. support. It, it is necessary to capture, capture the primary supply depot, depot hmm. to, ensure to ensure the successful, successful resupply of our, of our troops. troops. Right. From there, yeah. logistical, logistical supplies, supplies can be sent, sent to all other, other supply, supply depots. depots. Right. Right. Initially, shell it with artillery, and then attack with the infantry. Choose an artillery unit. I guess this one. What? Artillery is very effective against unarmored targets such right. as infantry. Not sure what Select that says, but infantry unit. nothing happened really there. So, I, um, it says I can't go anywhere. Uh, Select an infantry. Finish him off. Okay. Not in transit zone. Towed artillery can move one hexagon per turn. Right. While in transit mode, it can move much further. Right. However, yes, of course. When in transit mode, towed artillery is very vulnerable and it right. cannot engage the enemy. So that's the same as Panzer Generals, yes. We have to take our chances. Hmm. Time is almost up. Right. Capture the supply depot. Oh, is it on a time thing, maybe? Which can still choose an artillery unit. Oh, the artillery Capture unit. The supply Excellent. You don't normally use an artillery seen. unit to take over the Press place. Press the end button to proceed to the next phase of the operation. Oh, Press the next phase. End turn, button. end turn button. Right, now. Okay, let's look at the uh, interface we got here right now. Because this is into the uh, real game now after the tutorial. <clears throat> so you've got army. And you've got your menu, which you can actually... Um, save game which is uh, hot keys you can put hot keys I guess and low game and all that so yeah okay you know down here you can which is doesn't on the bottom left which is not very clear it's just all colored dots really um, presumably the greens are mine I don't know what that is that's that is that mine um, they all look the same to me down here not very well done at all so um, yeah I don't really like that at all um, and you got these I guess I'm clicking on them telling me where they are the planes and it says landing on yeah not very clear on that uh, so let's say end turn general, general staff, staff to the commander all right the Condor Legion hmm we have seized the city of Talavera and are ready to launch a general offensive against Madrid in cooperation with the troops of General Franco, far too much uh, to the narrow of the you know, voiceovers. In order to proceed, you need to establish control the over the following key strategic not very well done. points. Last sentence. To ensure further advance, All right. take over the Republican supply depot. We have to take that over. Taking this important transport junction right. will allow you to possess a useful airfield close to Madrid. Right. While in Madrid, capture the city's airport. Right. The railroad station and uh, the main supply depot right. of the Republican Army. Right. Faithful to Franco, 
The garrison of Toledo keeps control of the city with defiance. Right. Rescue the city defenders before the Republicans destroy them. Right. The Republican army has not yet recovered from its defeat. Huh? The current situation is favorable for your offensive. Uh -huh. But there is no time to hesitate. Right. Before the enemy has time to pull up its reserves, Madrid must be captured. Right. Weapons specialist August Holzer will help you master the experimental machinery that came from the novel military doctrine of Wehrmacht. Too much information. We have faith in you and expect a rapid victory. Right. General Stabschef, Des Harris, General Lieutenant Ludwig August Theodor Waste of... I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less. So here's your, your actual thing in the game now. Uh, we're in the game. Um, so what we've got up here on the left is your primary objectives, which is seize all victory hexes zero to five. So we've got five of them. Now we can't see all five of them because I can't zoom out. I have to um, scroll around and mind you, I've got the scroll on slow. So there's the one, two, one, two, three, four, and now presumably this is five. And releasing the uh, garrison, which will be not marked, I would imagine, this one here. Right, so so there we have it there. And like I say, for those of you who really like these um, 3D thing, you can zoom in and, and have a look around. <clears throat> um, although it's, it doesn't really um, help me a great deal. I would rather have more game, a better gameplay than... Uh, now see if they've got the map. No, they haven't got the map proper either. Maybe that was purposely done. I have no idea. But yeah. So this is as far out as I can get. And uh, which doesn't really show me enough of the screen. Um there might be a way of changing that, I don't know. But um so you've got all these down here, which is presumably your army down here on the bottom, right? And then you've got all these green things which are yours, uh, presumably dots down over here and there's a apparently one green thing here which I would presume is yours I don't know um, icons next to a unit, unit allow, allow you to quickly, quickly get more oh. information, information about it more talking the unit, unit does not move during the current turn uh -huh. the canister icon will be green if right. it moves the icon will be gray right. similarly the cartridge icon shows if the unit has made an attack during this move uh -huh. the red color of icons indicates that either the fuel or ammo in that particular unit has been uh -huh. deleted uh -huh. um, the arrow um, how it's going to obviously the path how it's going to go um i guess is is okay um but it's, like i say i still can't see the whole map so here you can view detailed information oh. about your unit its experience level specification, right you're right skills, right clicked on it abilities, its strength its ammo and fuel quantity and its right. availability of additional weapons and weak pools. right okay so i'm not showing you a great deal of the gameplay i know that um, I just wanted to see what it was like myself as well and uh, my first reaction is um, I'm trying to click off of that can I okay uh, my first reaction is no I don't like the game very well at all it's too um, the interface is is clumbersome not well thought out um, not easy to use um, can't see the whole of the map um, if I zoom out that's all I can see um, nothing up here about um, how many turns I have or whatever um, prestige points is fine uh, command points I guess would be fine I guess that would be alright but yeah um, and these tanks could at least look like tanks um, really I mean really I mean come on um, so yeah that's my view of it um, so yeah I was I bought this uh, it was um, for me it was 23 pounds on Steam and um, not a very good buy for me I don't think I think that um, it's way overpriced for what it is uh, I don't think I'll be playing it very much at all um, it's it's probably worth about 12 pound uh, if you're lucky 12 pound um, would be fine for a game like this 23 is is reaching for the sky a bit up on it I think um, uh, uh, so if, if the game people are actually watching this that make this or anybody else out there can make games like this is watching I mean it's not rocket science 
All you have to do is make a game like Panzer Generals. Have these hexagons in here, of course, right? Make it 3D if you wish, when you can zoom in and get a bit of a look in, uh, of it, certainly. Make sure that the map is completely shows up the whole of the map. So you get a complete view of, of what you're looking at. And turn-based, make it have a certain amount of turns to make the mission. You know, that's, that's all you've got to do and make the interface a lot easier than this one is. Uh, this is really clearly clumbersome and uh, I, I'm not comfortable moving around. I mean, there's no reason for me to see this part of the map at all. I don't even need to see that part of the map because it's not got hexagons on it anyway. And the same with here. So what they could have done is made the map <clears throat> just on the hexagons and so I can see where I am because I don't even know where I am. In Panzer Generals, you could zoom out and actually see that it was actually, you know, it was England or Europe or whatever. But here, absolutely meaningless to me where I am. And do something with the tanks, guys. They look disgusting, you know. Anyway, that's my review of it. Um, I would advise you not to buy it in the state that it's in now. Uh, unless they do a hell of a lot of changes on it, um, I... I, I I'm afraid it's not for me. Uh, I may even get my money back on it because it's very disappointing. Very disappointing for me. Anyway, that's not everybody's. Uh, some people may like it. I don't know. Um, perhaps they've never paid, pa played Plans of Generals, which was um, the whole start of the whole shebang in the first place. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And um, that's my review of it. Not a great review. I'm sorry. Um, goodbye.